So, I guess we can go ahead and get started. Um, for those of you on pins and needles, I don't think we're going to actually have any dramatic announcements today. Um, the couple of things I thought were likely to pop out by today didn't. So, maybe by next time. Sorry. See, every time I, every time I go and make predictions... It blows up in my face. So that's why I don't like to do it. Um, <clears throat> so I can run down the quick list of topics. I think we're going to end up with a pretty short meeting today. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, interest list. Uh, what I keep hearing from them is that they are continuing to uh, do bug stomping. Um, as, as you might. Yeah, as you might imagine, uh, you know, monkeying with the interest list uh, is um, full of opportunities for for errors, and uh, I think the team is really sensitive to that and is trying hard not to have a uh, have a bad launch. So. Um, uh, you know, I keep hearing status updates from them, but none of them have been, we're going to launch the viewer right away. So uh, that actually wasn't even one of the ones that I thought was going to be out this week. Um, group bands, uh, Baker tells me things are going well, but um, <laughs> yeah, uh, right, Haas. So um, Baker tells me that, that uh, the group band stuff is, is going well, uh, but isn't ready to to roll yet uh, again same same sort of thing um, animation interfaces I I promised you that I would uh, poke at that a bit and I and I have um, I'm actually going to be going to San Francisco a uh, week after next and I plan on spending some time at that um, by the way that trip puts uh, our next meeting Our next meeting schedule, excuse me, uh, the pause there was me sneezing, <coughs> um, uh, in doubt since uh, I'm currently scheduled to be on an airplane at the time that two weeks from right now. So um, watch for a schedule update. I will either move it back to Thursday or out to the following Monday or Tuesday. Um, uh, or something different, but um, anyway, pay attention to uh, email on the list and so forth. Um, yeah, yeah, I I don't think I want to try to run sef Second Life over the airplane Wi-Fi, even if they do have one, and I, I don't know. Um, the airplane Wi-Fi is very cool. The few times I've 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 hit it. Uh, it's it's been really terrific to do uh, enable email and even IRC and 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 web surfing, but uh, we all know that Second Life is a little tougher on on networks and and middle boxes than than those things are. Um, the uh, so anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna pester people while I'm in San Francisco about animation interfaces and see whether whether there's something we ought to think about doing. Um, if that project is going to happen, and and it is it is still a, a, a major league if, um, I, I think it would it would we would want to do it in you know as part of a, a project in which you know, a substantial improvement was made to how the viewer interacts with animations in general. And that means I would want uh, a set of open source devs involved in doing the viewer side work. So be thinking about whether or not you can commit to that. Um, and uh, uh, let's see, fourth on our list was server side appearance which I don't think there's any more update on. I think we can actually take that off the agenda. 
uh, now. I mean, there will be another round of improvements coming. Um, is Nick's here today? I didn't look. No. Um, the uh, I don't think I have a scheduled date for when the next round of for the, when their next release candidate will, will come out. Um, I, I do know that I I saw that they had merged their internal development up to um, right. I, I didn't think there was. Um, I did see that they had merged viewer release uh, up and gotten all synced up with that, so that they're they're caught up with everything else that's been going on, which has been, as you know, quite quite uh, quite a lot happening. Um, so at the moment, the viewer channel has just has the the main viewer and two release candidates, the Coco uh, update to the Mac uh, app framework and uh, a, a big batch of maintenance fixes, uh, inc including a lot of materials fixes. Um, and there are a few other things in the pipeline. Um, there's a project viewer out from Snowstorm that's a collection of open source contributions uh, and a few random build fixes and so forth, um, which I'm going to be continuing to mine old Snowstorm issues to try and find things that I've, I've uh, lost track of and um, and get them pulled in. So uh, that's what that batch is going to be all about. Uh, when is it uh, kosher to merge in some of that stuff that's in Project Tewers into our development branches? Um, if you want to put it in your development branches, that's fine. Please don't put it in a released viewer until, you know, a general release viewer until it's at least in one of our release candidates. Um, whether or not you do the merges into your release branches while we're still at the release candidate stage or, uh, or when we move it to the default release is, is up to you. That's either way you want to do that. That's fine. Uh, once it's in a release candidate, we consider it sufficiently release quality that we can put it out. Obviously, we um, one of the reasons we have the release candidate mechanism is that we believe the only way to really find out whether something is release quality is to put it out there and let some people do it. Um, we've kind of fine-tuned the number of users that we, we uh, target before we begin to get uh, reasonable numbers, and we think we're we, we think we've settled on on a, on a good cohort size. Um, so, and it's not small, <clears throat> but um, it's uh, the 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 trick. The trick is, of course, we don't know what order we're going to. The whole point of this mechanism, the whole point of this process, is that we don't decide what order things are going to go to the default release in until the day that it goes to the default release. Uh, so we, we literally look at it on, uh, you know, every now and then. Usually the meeting is on Mondays, not always. Um, we get together, we look at the data, and we say, yes, that release candidate can become the default. And it and it literally, we check a box, and, and, and it's the default. Um, but... Uh, the um, so so we don't decide what order the merges are going to happen in. If you've done them in a different order, you may cause yourself merge headaches that that you otherwise might avoid. Uh, but that's up to you. Uh, yeah, right. Exactly. Tank. So it's it. Uh, if you, if you wait until we do it, then then you know what order we're going to do it in. And in fact, you get. Linden's doing the merges of code that Linden's did, so um, you avoid those those headaches. Um, so um, and uh, stats for percentage of sessions that have ALM enabled. I still have that on the list specifically because I haven't gotten to it yet, um, but I am going to try and get that for you. And and in fact. Uh, one of the things I'm putting on my agenda for going to San Francisco is to 
is to sit down with uh, some people at the in the uh, in the team that does that and get some better tutorials for myself on how to develop my own uh, my own reports. So we'll see. Um, Um, yeah, so I think we're, that's pretty much the list. Uh, as I say, I'm sorry, I, I don't have any of the fun dramatic announcements I expected to have this week, and I am suitably chastised for having set the expectation, but, uh, there you go. Um, so, the floor is open. Issues, questions? Well, Nick's and Monty popped in, so... Yeah, so Monty, um I actually didn't hear did we did we get the HTTP fixes uh changes server side changes rolled to the RCs? Yep, we did. Uh, the RCs went out um yesterday day late due to the high, the uh, holiday. Uh, next week the plan is switching a little bit. The announcement is that uh, it'll go back to one RC and we will be made for our um, uh, new RC and try to get the uh, server flow going again, but it's going to hang around and move forward at this point. I'm, I'm pretty certain. Great. Thank you. Um, and and, and I guess the question for... Uh, I guess the next question I would have was for Nix, if there's anything new on the SSA side. Thank you. Now I'll shut up. Gee, quiet bunch today. Well, we're all just terribly disappointed, us. We were expecting, yeah. you know, Baker Me too, to be actually. here and, you know. <laughs> uh, what, what can I tell you? Uh, I would say next time, except I don't really know that any better than I did last time. I'm just less confident of it. Uh, and besides, I don't really know when next time is going to be. Yeah. Don't tell us he'll be here because, you know, no offense, man, but your track record. You would think I would learn better, huh? Well, let me put it to you this way, Oz. Tell Baker to hurry up. My fingers and toes being crossed for this long is getting really painful. <laughs> yeah, well, if he hasn't shipped anything by the time I get to San Francisco, I'll definitely uh, do what I can to encourage him. So somebody say something, or Oz is going to have all sorts of time to do stuff that it's Friday afternoon. I mean, he's going to be running away. You can't leave Oz without that much free time on his hands, can we? Hey, it's a really beautiful day here today. You know, if I got off early, it wouldn't really break my heart.
This is scary. Pause. I, I, I've never seen it get this quiet this quickly at one of these meetings. Never. Yeah, well, you know, it's not, not totally a bad thing. Oh, no, I'm with you there. I've got things I could be doing, too. I had a question. Um, for, uh, was it Open 154 with the uh, changes to the Windows package? Uh, was there anything else that you were looking at implementing into the packager or just pulling in what uh, not not at present um, I, I'm I have asked QA I've done a build of that I've, I've merged that to you know a fork of viewer release and asked our QA to to you know beat up on it as much as they can which um, uh, I uh, unless they come up with something, uh, problematic. I expect it will get merged into that snowstorm branch, um, but at this point, probably not until sometime next week. Because I I know I'm behind a couple other things in the queue for QA. Okay. I should know more by Monday about our testing of the new GPU table you guys are working on. Yeah, we um, we did put in one other fix that that I had done ages and ages ago, and then and never integrated. Um, just got added in that branch uh, for um, actually checking that what gets downloaded as a GPU table or a feature table. Uh, really is a GPU table or a feature table. It turns out that a bunch of the crashes we've been seeing lately were the result of uh, uh, Wi-Fi uh, capture login pages being downloaded and saved as GPU table updates. And uh, yeah, they didn't work real well as GPU table updates. Um, I remember when we first uh, started forking Firestorm we had to disable downloading the GPU table because it was trying to download from your server and your server was returning a custom 404 page and the viewer was trying to parse that as a text file and it just failed and the person couldn't log in. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I put in a really trivially simple validator, um, okay, but good. it's 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 better than nothing. So, uh, uh, and that one is being integrated on one of the maintenance branches uh, where the GPU table updates are going. So um, that that will appear uh, pretty soon. That A couple of those are some of our top crashers at the moment, so I, I think it will probably get pushed to the head of the line pretty fast. Okay, good. Okay, well, um, I think we're, we're all getting uh, 40 minutes back. So basically you just said, uh, speak now or forever hold your peace? Yeah, something like that. I'm going to land your chairs in a second. The, uh GPU table thing. I'm surprised you didn't just um, stick it on a HTTPS link, which uh, couldn't be man in the middle and avoided that. No, the problem is that sometimes the file gets corrupted during the download. Yeah, the well, no, the ones the ones we did. did uh, I think we just did use HTTP. Yeah, that that might have been better, but. Um, it's, uh, it, we really ought to have validation in there anyway, so.
Um, at the moment, I'm running the Snowstorm branch, but that's that includes um, the first materials release, but not the current materials release candidate. So materials don't work underwater for me, for example. Great, Fox. That'll only happen at certain angles. It's a known issue. Um, the picture I sent you was due to the fact it switched your avatar to a avatar imposter, and thus that had the attributes of full bright and glow, and went black. Um, I'll take that as a hint. Thanks, Oz. Uh, thanks to all the Lindens that were here. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend, everybody. Nice to meet you, Haas. Quack. 